the women's singles final and Michelle Lee is already assured of being Canada's first badminton medalist since 1994. Can she make it gold against Scotland's Kirsty Gilmore, the first Scottish woman to reach a Commonwealth Games badminton singles final? It's gone long. And Morton, I suppose the fact that history will be made, regardless of which of these two players win today, it will be a first gold medal in the women's singles uh, for either nation. I suppose that adds to the drama and the tension. Absolutely, it does. Um, while you so well have introduced the players, obviously I've been watching the court here. And once again, we saw the toss of the coin and Gilmore won it and she chose side and she's playing on her favorite side so obviously she's hoping that whatever happens that she will be able to clinch this first game as what she's done in all her previous matches and while she's choosing this side is obviously because she's playing against the drift and when you play against the drift it's easier to keep them in on the baseline yeah but it looks a rather nervous start for Kirsty Gilmore do Gilmore good uh, kept it in but the first really good rally from her and she settled in really nicely in this one that will do her good yeah and I, I suppose the uh, fact that Michelle Lee has played in Pan American Games gold medal matches and won those sort of matches her experience in this sort of atmosphere and the uh, the big stage works in her advantage Yes, uh, she's a little bit more used to it than, than Gilmore is, uh, but still, just personality-wise, I think that uh, Michelle Lee is, is a more cool person than Gilmore is. She's much more prone to be uh, nervous, Gilmore, and she's really shown that on occasions, but here she's got to rise to this very, very good occasion here. Yes, and there's no doubt the fans here at the Emirates Arena Two, will help three. in that. I suppose looking at the qualities of both these players, they're both fine athletes, beautiful movers around the court. They are, and they are very fit as well, so uh, fitness will not come into the picture here because uh, as what we've seen the other days, especially yesterday, fitness was uh, a major issue, but today in this final we have two excellent fit players. I think one of the trademarks for Michelle Lee is that uh, she is prepared and very good at playing good shots under pressure. Yeah, she's very creative as we saw in that rally, the slice straight down the, the line, the overhead one, shot played two. with slice, which gives it disguise, that one. But that one is even better. If you're nervous, you don't play a shot like that. No. And that's just a good sign of, you know, she's she's cool as a cucumber. There's no doubt about it. Oh, that's a brilliant smash. And we were talking uh, earlier throughout the badminton competition uh, about Kirsty Gilmore sometimes is a little too reactive instead of proactive you especially said you wanted to see her be more aggressive in her style of play and that's what she needs today because if she's not doing it uh, Michelle Lee will take lead and that's what we've seen here in the the opening rallies she's playing some devastating smashes and very good attacking shots so Gilmore have to get in there first and, and really have to start attacking 
to avoid Michelle Lee to attack. Mm. Well, I could just see Yvette Law in the distance, one of the Scottish coaches. She was advising Gilmore, or seemed to be, with her hand signals about hitting down. So exactly what you've just said, Morton. Again, every rally won by Gilmore are greeted with rapturous applause. Yeah, Chris Brawl, the other Scottish coach, he's the one nearest to us. This is a very international bench the Scottish are having. One from China and... Uh, one from Holland. Mm. We saw yesterday Gilmore in her semi-final using the low backhand serve. She's serving high so far, and that immediately gives Michelle Lee, with her overheads, the opportunity to play and use some of her skills on, on the attack. Yeah, um, hopefully uh, very soon we will see a, a variation, as you say, a, a short serve, uh, a low serve or even a flick serve. Um, could be a backhand serve, but uh, she definitely has to start to, to variate her play and uh, try to unsettle Michelle Lee as much as possible. nerves that error yeah, I can't help whether thinking that uh, Kirsty Gilmore might have made the wrong choice when she chose the good end to start off with because I think that the nerves are really overcoming her and she cannot make good advantage of having the best side to play well, let's see it's still early days miss but that's lovely skill isn't it the, looking at the way she comes forward to the net racket arm outstretched she's holding got all the, shot. the options in the world to yeah. play oh, well, yeah we've seen another which is the backhand kill at the net very fast forward very little backswing and she has a seven point advantage at the mid-game interval movement so fast to see the opportunity and Jeff White the Canadian coaches 20 seconds 20 seconds well with the crowd <laughs> virtually impossible to hear what Yvette Lowe and Chris Brule were advising Gilmore. 11-4. Well, I think Chris was saying try to find your comfort zone, and uh, I so agree with him. It's now time to shed all the, the nerves and just go all out. Just full blast and see if you can win it. The first five, six, seven, eight minutes is over. It's time to really make a move here. A 
performance oh. much better. Yeah. And do you know why I think it was good as well? She started off with a, a jump on that attacking clear on that high serve, and that showed a totally different Kirsty Gilmore here. Good shot down the line here. See, here we got the low serve. Yeah. Yeah, the low backhand serve means that Gilmore could get on the attack first. Playing her favourite smash cross court there. But what a good shot it was. Well, it is always the little touch shots, isn't it, that go first when you're nervous, like the net plate. <laughs> Nicely taken. Unbelievable. All four corners of the court explored in that rally. And the winning cross-court drop from Gilmore was played to perfection. I think Gilmore was soaking up the pressure really well. Michelle played a very good rally here, but had to give away the initiative on that lift, and then what a beautiful shot it was. return very nice return from Michelle Lee here pressurizing that deep forehand corner and she did it with a lovely disguise despite the fact that Gilmore is sort of edging back into this match I think Michelle Lee is doing really well holding her game very well together Yeah, she's found that deep forehand corner again, the Canadian. And from a tactical point of view, I think it's clever of the Canadian to pressurize that deep for forehand corner because uh, Gilmore is so strong when it comes to the overhead action on the on the backhand side and we've seen that already on a few occasions beautiful movement back there 16, eight. Look, by the time she's landed body weights coming forward Such a good smash, she knew that the only possible reply was straight and back to the net. That's the first body smash we've seen so far in this final. something different today from yesterday with Gilmore I thought Gilmore was had the courage to play a net shot off her opponent's net shot and so far today we've seen nothing but lifts yeah but I think it comes from the fact that Michelle Lee is, is standing uh, much more forward so if she plays the net uh, she's ready uh, to cover that one and uh, I think Gilmore is very much aware of that and that's a nice flick again from Michelle Lee and here it comes yes that's good play excellent play and once again you see that pressure down the forehand side of Gilmore she's yeah. got to step uh, a small step to the right in order to cover that 
and then obviously have to watch out for the reverse one as well. So, not an easy task. the one I was talking about. Yes, it was. Yeah. And I set it up nicely. Exactly, that was good play. But the reason why it worked was because it was played with a delay, it was played with a disguise. It was a very, very difficult shot to play. Look at that. Fabulous. Clever. Did well on the backhand defence, didn't she? 18. Yeah, Michelle is questioning that call, no. but there's no way she would get an overruling on that one by the umpire who's sitting too far away from it. Goodness, what a backhand. A backhand smash straight down the line. Well, I've never seen her 18. done that before. No, and technically it's one of the most difficult shots. No. I've never seen her doing that. Brilliant. That's gone wide as well. Gifted point to Michelle Lee. It's going long as well. Yeah. Mm. So after just 18 minutes, Michelle Lee has seven game point opportunities. Hey. Down the back line. Perfect net shot <laughs> to close out the Those opening game from Michelle Lee. 21-14 confirms uh, the umpire. So Michelle Lee gets her nose in front back shortly for the second game of that women's singles final in badminton. What can Kirsty Gilmore do in response to that opening game win from Michelle Lee? We will find out. Here comes game two in the badminton. Not the high one, you get that one. But the quicker one, you should intercept. And play it high. Give yourself some time. All right? Build up. So the advice from the Scottish coach is Yvette Lowe and Chris Brawl. 
wanting her to try and leap up and intercept the pushes from Michelle Lee. Pushes from the net. So not the scoreline that the home fans would have wanted. Opening game to Michelle Lee, 21-14. Badminton team are down here in support. Mm, immediately more attacking play from Michelle Lee. Morton, did you get to hear what the Canadian coaches were saying? Um, yes, I think uh, a very good advice. Obviously, he's saying the same as me, and that's why I think it's good. <laughs> but he said, attack that forehand. Down the line, attack that forehand, and uh, very good options are arising from that. Mm, that's a perfect clear. Two, well, five. not that Gilmore agrees. There's no challenge system here in badminton. Umpire can only overrule if they see that a clear error has been made. Well, that does look into me. Well, this is very, very concerning times for the home fans start of this second game absolutely crucial for Gilmore and the atmosphere is so tense you can you can hear a needle drop we haven't had that now we've been here for 10 days it's complete silence Far the best in the match so so far. Good net play. Oh, Good that net play again. Is incredible. Yeah. Well, Michelle Lee's net play Four, has been nigh on perfect so far. But that look at the difference where she's taking the shuttle yeah. up high in comparison where Gilmore is taking the shuttle down yeah. low. But it was the first drop shot that actually did it. It's uh, obviously this is a, a winner, but it was the first one with a small disguise, a little delay, but that really tricked Gilmore a little bit, and she got in late at the net. coming forward isn't she the Canadian yeah but she knows that's the only answer and, and Gilmore really have to step a foot or two to the right to counter attack that one because she's got to go cross court on it she can't just wait what she normally is doing and then block it straight she knows that Lee is coming in on it just simply got to break this run of points. Ah! 
that's why it's, yeah. mm. I think she was contemplating to leave the other one, to leave that shot. She, she chose to play it, Seven, but she played it too wide. Yeah. I think she contemplated it. Yeah, I think you're right too. Because normally she r reaches up, takes that one early. Exactly. Well left, yeah. <laughs> Raises her arm to celebrate the first point that she's won in this second game. Which is not a good sign. No. Reverting to the backhand serve. That's gone wide. Again, a smash down the uh, Gilmore Service forehand over. side. Eight, two. Yeah, she's playing uh, one of her, that shot, that cross court clear with the backhand is one of her favorite shots. She, it's, it's one of her basic shots and she must again try to avoid Michelle being able to attack that forehand side. So obviously she's got to go straight on it. The attacking play that Morton suggested was her only answer. Service over. Look Three, at that eight. jump in the air. And the backhand kill. Well, keeping it straight, which is good because the natural shot would have been to play on the backhand, play across court. Well, that's one of the few net exchanges that Gilmore has won. Yeah, but look at this, look at this. The follow-up here. Yeah. She's adding on a little bit more pressure on Michelle Lee when she's playing that shot there. She is ready, which means that Michelle can see it and she wants to play desperately tight. Smash down the forehand side yet again. the same scoreline as game number one at the mid-game interval. A seven point advantage. She wants to come in, right? We're not going to let her in. You're going to make sure that you're on that forehand, right? Just like sit on it, right? So if you use it, it's open to go back there, and you're getting lots of work. Keep your depth, that's it. Our depth sets up here. We've got the great straight attack card. Straight. Straight. 20, 20 seconds. Well. 20 seconds. Yeah. Nothing to lose anymore. Now you go for it. Yeah. Okay. Chris Ball saying, now you go for it. Yeah. She has no option. She's got to go all out because at the moment, Michelle Lee is playing quite brilliantly. 
And somehow Gilmore has got to disturb uh, the rhythm of the Canadian. That's a wonderful, wonderful variation here. Rather than going down the line on the forehand, she chose to go cross court and then smashing straight to the backhand side. That is really, really good badminton. Clever play. You never know what's coming and Michelle Lee is doing so well here. more than as if she's losing her way. The pressure from Michelle Lee is overpowering. Yeah, you know, going back to what I said earlier, whether Kirsty Gilmore chose the best side first or whether she's now standing on the not so good side for her, I don't think that will make a difference. I really think Michelle Lee is in a commanding lead and she is playing really good badminton here. Yeah, that is superb. 14, four. And the disguise on the reverse slice drop shot. And look again how early she takes that and just caresses it across court. Or trying to play that net shot with a little disguise by just letting it drop. Yeah. Selection was good, the execution let her down. Well, still the fans play their part, trying to lift uh, Kirsty Gilmore. Five, but with a 10-point deficit, well, she'd need the sort of heroics of yesterday when she went on a rampage of 10 straight points from 11, 19 down. She's going to pull this around. But that was uh, in a very, very different context because yeah. the opponent she played yesterday was extremely tired from her quarter-final match. And here we have a 100% Michelle Lee, and uh, it's a completely different context. Yeah. very much as if uh, Michelle Lee is going to come out on top on this match yeah. and I know that Kirsty Gilmore will be disappointed but she shouldn't be disappointed because Michelle Lee has just played too well she has but also been given the option here you know Kirsty Gilmore must never go cross court she's been punished so many times and that's what I don't get that she's letting that forehand side open when she's playing a cross-court shot like that. She must keep these straight lines and get it away from that forehand. But obviously, it's too late. It's, it's, yeah. it's way too late now. And obviously she's got to look at this match later on and then learn from it. And uh, we will see a lot, lot stronger Kirsty Gilmore coming back in the years to come. Yeah. But this one is be on her as I see it. Yeah. 
And we should put it into context, really. Kirsty Gilmore Seven, is only so the third Six, player or pair to contest a Commonwealth Games final. Only once previously has Scotland won a medal in the women's singles. That was in 2006, a bronze medal for Susan Hughes. She has done remarkably well. Uh, but the net play of Michelle Lee, the touch and the guile, the tight spinning net shots where the shuttle goes upside down over the net. Take a look at this. Look at that shuttle. Spinning ferociously. time that and the whole body language Gilmore now resigned to defeat match point, six. match point opportunities well inciting the crowd to still have belief I think that's a little optimistic now gold medal points for Michelle Lee Well, defiant to the end. Service over. Seven twenty. Game. And Michelle Lee creates history. The first Canadian ever to win a gold medal in the women's singles at the badminton. Wonderful sportsmanship at the end of the match, but quite simply, Mich Michelle Lee was too good for Kirsty Gilmore today. Match won by Lee, but she has achieved, Kirsty Gilmore, something that no Scottish player has achieved before. A finalist in a singles event at the badminton at the Commonwealth Games. But Morton, Michelle Lee, right from the start, was outstanding. She was uh, not only in this match, I think she has played a wonderful tournament, beating uh, Sindhu in the semi-final of the individuals here. It was a fantastic achievement as well. One have to consider that Sindhu is up almost in the top 10 in the world. I think she's 11 at the moment. And that was a very, very fine victory she had yesterday, 22, 20, 22, 20. So an emphatic win then for Michelle Lee against Kirsty Gilmore. Gold and bronze sorted out there. Earlier in the women's...